What do I need for my trip to Baldur's Gate? A sword. Some armor. My D20. Ooh, and road trip songs. But it's dangerous to go alone. I'll need a companion to go with me. So how about I show you how I made a doll of my tiefly bard Hawkins, my Tav from Baldur's Gate 3. She's the perfect road trip sing-along buddy for a long journey to vanquish evil. Let's roll for initiative and get started. If you watched my last video, you've got a good idea of what Hawkins will look like, as well as her personality. Basically, I stole, I mean borrowed, her backstory and name from Danny Kaye in The Court Jester, one of my favorite movies. A jester? A jester? A funny idea, a jester! So, she is a bard from the School of Swords with a background as an entertainer. I've been trying to use up some of the extra bodies and heads I have lying around, uh, not to be taken out of context, so I picked this Wild Hearts crew body with a broken neck peg and this Willa Likenson head because I liked her face mold and I think she'll make a great Hawkins. She already has pointy ears, but I'm going to enhance them to be even bigger and pointier. Much trial and error went into fixing the head to the neck, and I revisited Dolightful's neck fixing video in order to find the best method. I settled on feeding an elastic through the neck bar and then to the top of the skull. It worked very well, and I sewed the vinyl to the elastic for extra security. I drilled a hole into her hind, I mean mind, <laughs> no, her hind too, and I inserted the wire into said holes. I molded her horns using Millie Putt. I can't use regular epoxy sculpt because I'm allergic to it, but I don't react to Milliput for whatever reason. I still use gloves when mixing it though, just to be safe. At first, because I couldn't find my long strips of heat shrink tubing for the tail, I used smaller ones. If you'd like to see more on how I use the shrink tubing to make tails and tendrils, check out my Alien vs. Predator Lex and Scar video. That one deserves more love, and I'm proud of how those dolls both came out. I ended up remaking the tail once I found my long shrink tubing, using one of the smaller pieces to create the spade at the end. The hardest part of this doll was figuring out her clothes. I knew I wanted to do a kind of mismatched, pied, jester-inspired tunic, with different panels being different fabrics. It took a lot of trial and error and doodling. I used the plastic wrap and tape method to create a pattern for her, since I don't have any patterns that would match the wild heart screw body. I settled on these fabrics, and I actually hand sewed the entire outfit, including the pants and undershirt as well. I was just in a hand sewing mood, and I didn't really trust my sewing machine not to eat the more delicate bits.
I think it's super cute and perfect for a bard to wear. I would definitely wear this, and I'd probably be a bard if I were in the world of Baldur's Gate. I think Hawkins is probably the character that is most like myself in the game, out of my other original characters that I've created. She even has the same scar on her lip as me. I really appreciate that the studio put so much effort into the character customization settings. How you can give your character different freckles, different face tattoos, and the best part of the game is that no matter what you identify as, uh, you can romance anyone in the game. And that's really been one of my favorite parts. If I'm being honest, I have to kind of restrain myself from making each of my tabs uh, into doll form. I think I might do it with a couple more that I've created in the game. Um, I have a cleric named Cinder. If you've seen my Instagram, you'll no doubt have seen some drawings of him. And I also have my Dark Urge, who I would love to turn into a doll. So let me know in the comments if you'd be interested to see more of my Baldur's Gate OCs. My brother-in-law had these old shoes he wasn't wearing anymore and gave them to me to use for my crafting. I ended up sewing a travel pack for Hawkins with the leather bits. It came out really cute, I'm really happy with it. For her loot, at first I thought I wanted to make it out of clay, and it came out looking... Nih. So I tried a different approach with some honeycomb IKEA cardboard and different scraps of trash, along with a lot of hot glue. I used school glue and tissue paper to unite the texture of the whole thing and give it a rustic feel as well. Maybe she made it herself with some whittling tips from Halson. This sword is from one of my Xena dolls, and with a little dry brushing, it looks good and used. These are the boots the Willow Likenson doll came with, and they fit the body well. I wrapped them in some fancy ribbon and added a bell for that extra gestury feel. Other accessories I made but didn't end up filming were her bracers that give her a little bit of extra armor, and this little pouch that also came from the Willa Likenson doll. It's super cute, and I thought it would give her some extra storage for her alchemy bits and other things. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this doll as much as I enjoyed putting her together. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button, and I will see you guys next time.